Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, it's dark here, so the light in this video may be a little different from what you're used to because uh, it's it's all artificial light, and I don't have like a ooh, big setup here. Um, I just have a smart setup using not much. <laughs> so um, I want to talk to you about the blocks that you find in trying to uh, recognize true nature or trying to accept true nature. In other words, you can, th this block, these blockages come uh, in pre-awakening and they reappear in post-awakening. And, uh, you know, and I know I've read just like you have that, uh, that with awakening, uh, there is, uh, there, th there's a cessation of seeking. And that may be the case in, 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 for some people, but it wasn't the case here. And I noticed that it's not the case in almost everybody I meet. So uh, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna toss that to the wind for now and say, as far as this teaching is concerned, that's a myth. So uh, there, there's a process, there's a event to awakening and then there's a process and this thing screws up both. So, what is this thing that I'm talking about? Well, uh, I'm the only one I've ever heard really talk about it. And uh, the phrase that I have made up for it is um, reflexive conditioning. Reflexive conditioning is, it's about this unit, right? It doesn't have anything to do with you. <laughs> Not the true you, it doesn't have anything to do with you. It has to do with this unit and the thoughts, which we could call mind, even though we can't find a mind that's free of thought. So I can't, I can't promise there is a mind, but we're going to call all the thoughts associated um, with this thing, with the sense of, let's just say, all of the thoughts associated with the sense of separation, with the sense of a separate me. So, um, and what happens is that just as you like, maybe maybe you even had a glimpse, right? And but then it just sort of fell by the wayside. Does that happen to you? It happens to a lot of people. It happened to me several times. Um, but even without a glimpse, you are you are initiating a a, a programmed response. And what these things are is these are just thought patterns and thought patterns arise all the time. But the particular thought patterns we're talking about are the thought patterns that stop you from waking or clearing. And the way that that works is this, is that you may get some kind of a revelation or, or insight or feel like, uh, you know, I, I, I can just, I just know that there's only oneness. And, and, a, and conditioned response to that will come right in behind that is no, there's only oneness. And, and you won't even hear it. It'll just be, it'll be subconscious probably. And uh, you might notice it, but it'll come in and it'll just whisper, uh, it, you know, there's just one thing, except for you, plus you, of course. <laughs> There's just one thing plus Fred, plus this. Um, and that is, that's not something that you can stop thinking because you never started thinking. It, it just occurred. It's a response. Um, another one might, might be, uh, so they say that, they say that true nature um, they say it's right here. They mean this here, here? And up will come, no, nah, it can't be that simple. And uh, in, 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 in an awakening session, I will ask, uh, and, and, and we will, or we will ask together, um, so can you find a Fred? And uh, the answer will immediately arise and say, uh, 
no, I can't, but, but there's still me. And what that means is that it's the, the fact that there's no Fred has not been seen. You're believing a, a, a programmed thought pattern that just pops up. You don't do it. Nobody does it. And it happens to nobody as well. But it nonetheless happens. And what happens is that uh, after that is that there's a belief that arises, which said, and which once again will say, uh, there's, there's, there is no Fred, but I'm still here. And that I'm still here, whatever, is going to be Fred. It's going to be Fred with a mask on, but it's still going to be Fred, still going to be you. We might come to this. So, uh, so this, this thing that you've been waiting for, we often hear that it's closer than close. Yes, and I've checked that out and it can't be because the one thing I know is that I am this and this is, and, and this is the a Fred unit, right? And, um, and I am this body and I am this mind and, you know, and they're just crazy as hell. <laughs> Something to that effect. Thought patterns, thought patterns, thought patterns. You can't stop them because you're not doing them, right? Like if you go into um, <clears throat> you go into a doctor to get your they get a physical and they take their little tomahawk hammer and they pop you on the knee, your leg's gonna fly up. And your and 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 your leg's gonna fly up. And let's just say, for instance, that you didn't know that, that would happen. And you're embarrassed. And so you say to the doctor, Oh, doctor, I didn't mean to do that, and uh, I won't do it again. And he pops your knee with his hammer and your leg flies up again. Well, now you're really, you're just gone from embarrassed to humiliated. And so you tell the doctor, well, look, I don't believe in doctors, hammers, reflexes, knees, or any of that stuff. And that will never happen again. He pops your leg and your leg flies up. So you can't stop that because you're not doing it. It's just happen. It's just a response. No, it's not anyone's response. It's really a reaction. It's no one's reaction. It's just the reaction of mind anytime it, truth comes anywhere near it. It just starts shooting up objections. And when I say a mind, again, it's just thoughts arising. It's just patterns. But the patterns, however, can keep uh, can keep, keep confusion there, which uh, what it really amounts to that the confusion is that you forget who you are. And when I say you forget who you are, obviously I'm talking about awakeness because there's not anything other than awakeness. So I, I can't actually discuss anything other than awakeness. And the only thing that could be discussing awakeness is awakeness. And the end will come. I don't really understand what he's saying. It's not, uh, there's nothing to understand. It's like, it's like me telling you, okay, so you have on a shirt. <laughs> What's he mean by that? I've got on a shirt. And, and I don't mean anything by that. Just the saying, I'm just telling you, you've got on a shirt. Because we're always after, in non-duality, we're always looking for the secret handshake, aren't we? You know, the secret handshake, um, that points to the uh, that gives us the 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 secret passageway, the secret password, whatever it is, secret something that will unlock this cosmic mystery. But you don't have to unlock this cosmic mystery; it's right here. This is the cosmic mystery. The very thing that you're thinking about it, that he's saying, he can't be talking about this. Yes, I am. And when I talk about you, you're thinking that, well, this doesn't feel like a cosmic anything or whatever it might occur as just as a thought pattern. It's not anything you're actually doing, but there will be, the, there will be a sense of, and what it will always amount to is it's always about, it's, it's, it's denial. These thought patterns come up, they come up via denial, they come up, uh, and, and what are they coming up to? 
Well, what's actually here? A whiteness. Now, a whiteness has been under the illusion that there's this wakefulness, that there's this attention, that there is this awareness plus the secret awareness. And there's simply no secret awareness. It just isn't. So in the absence of a secret awareness, what's left? Well, this is left, but it can't be this. And my question is, who taught you that? Did anybody ever tell you that? Or did you just cook that up all on your own and then decide to believe it? And you really didn't decide to believe it because decisions are not made, they just happen. And all of this is happening within a whiteness. But imagine that if, let's just say, let's just throw um, caution to the wind and let's imagine that this is actually a, um, that, that this right here is an avatar, so to speak, and that this is virtual reality, okay? So if it's virtual reality, if you've ever worked with virtual reality, you know that you will experience an entirely different world. It looks, it feels like you're there, right? Or you're in it, you're doing things. You get involved in it. You have experiences in it. And the, the only thing is, as soon as you take those goggles off, there's no more virtual world. And you're, you realize that you've, been, you've had experiences. You can talk about it. You can talk about virtual reality. You can experience virtual reality. But you can't show anyone else virtual reality. And you can't, you can't, uh, the, you know, if, if somebody was standing behind me with a movie camera, that camera would show me, would show this body in a chair, because that's exactly what Betsy saw when she came through once when I was doing virtual reality. She just saw a body. She didn't see uh, the, the, the fact that I was, you know, of shooting spaceships and all kinds of stuff like that, which I was just having a good time doing. And uh, I'd say spaceships are some kind of weirdo targets that go off like, who knows? But anyway, she didn't see any of that. All she could see was this because the, the virtual reality is an illusion, but you can experience it. And that's always the magic word for non-duality is that, well, don't go by your thought thinking, go by your experience. And I say that too, I'm not denying that, but I'm just noticing that even experience can be false. Even experience can be unreal. Because if all of this is illusion and you're experiencing it, then this is unreal. It, when I say unreal, I don't mean it's not experienced. It is experienced. And it feels like what? It feels like your experience. It feels like the unit's experience. It feels like feels like Fred and Bob and Kathy's experience, but it's not. All of this is awakening's experience. Presently, awakening, awakeness is dreaming itself to be a Fred and a Bob and a Kathy. So it's not Fred and Beth, Beth, uh, Bob and Kathy's experience. Fred and Bob, Bob and Kathy are the experience. And just as you break through and you see, oh my God, there's no Fred, uh, will come a thought pattern to block you. And that thought pattern will say, oh, oh, oh that's not true. But, you know, that's, that, that's not true. Uh, I don't even understand what you're saying. Um, I don't think I quite get that. These thought patterns just come up. It can't be this simple. That's a great one. I've had so many people wake up and, they, and, and see that, well, guess what? It's this simple. It really is. It's the, all that brainiac stuff that you're doing. You're going to figure it out. And you're going to read all the great Eastern books and you're going to you know, meditate from now to Christmas and all of this stuff. Uh, well, God bless you if it helps. 
but the odds are that it won't. Because the truth is, you've landed in front of this teaching. And I don't know of anybody who discovers this teaching accidentally. There's no such thing. So this is an opportunity for you. You don't have to accept what you're hearing here. It's my job to present the truth, but it's not my job to see that you believe it. Although in an awakening session, that really is my job is to encourage you in every way that I can to come to see the obvious truth that's right here in front of you. See, it's so obvious that you can't see it. It's, so, it's not too far, it's too close. It's not too complicated, it's too simple. It's not over there, it's here. It is the very here-ness of here. You are the very here-ness of here, awakeness. So let's just notice that there is awakeness. There's awakeness here. You can see it, it's moving. It doesn't appear to be, whatever is over here, it doesn't appear to be asleep. It's talking, it's moving, it's talking. And I notice that over there, whether it's moving or not, it's listening. Yes. So there is something over there listening. And just like we would be if there was a person in the in, in, in a Zoom room with me. We assume that there are two people in a Zoom room. Well, if there was one person, there could be two people. But there is the appearance of a person. There are apparently two people in an apparent Zoom room. room, room. But appearances not only can be deceiving, they virtually are deceiving 100% of the time for most everybody on the planet. This teaching cuts that very short because we just go in and we short circuit all the stuff that's been stopping you. You come to see the truth of all that stopping you. And I can't do all of that in one video. I can point out what's stopping you, but you, the, the, what's hearing this may not be able to fix it, right? It's, it's not a matter of it being broken and fixed is not a great word, but I don't know a better word. That's the thing. We get to this place and we just can't, we just can't make much sense. So, so what do we do? Are you on a path? Are you on a spiritual path? Well, it's fine if you are, but if you're on a, been on a spiritual path for years and you haven't realized, you need to double check and see if that is a path. Because in my mind, it's not. You know them by their fruits. And if you go to my website, you can see scores of people who have woken up with me. You can know this teaching by its fruit. It produces, because I don't have a path, except for in post-awakening, there's a path. But for awakening, there's no path. Awakening is, is sudden. It may not be jarring. It may, there may be, you know, uh, uh, hallucinations and all that good stuff, kind of like um, drugs. And but it's the sweetest drug that you ever did, and uh, you don't ever want it to end, and that's the problem. Because what is it that doesn't want the awakening experience to end? The imaginary character. It's the imaginary character. There's no Fred here. I can promise you. I've been on this this in non-duality for almost forty years. And I have looked high and low. And uh, I used to think I could find a Fred because there was such a strong sense of Fred. And there was a very, very strong sense of Fred here for 24 years. 
And in between, in that, in that 24 years, 14 years before the awakening, that is, uh, we can say the word ongo ongoing, I we'll just use that word for now. Uh, so the last awakening here, the last big awakening here was, well, 2006, 2007, there, there was, there were two. But the big one, the really big one was 2006. And that 2006, it, uh, the 10 years from, um, or 14 years prior to that, there had been a small awakening. You know, like a, it was, it was, you know, I guess that you could call it a glimpse, but it was, a, but it was, but it was the absolute truth. And it may, and it marked me. I could not, I could not deny that experience. I tried to. Um, I even told people, I know it didn't happen, because, that I had told it did happen, because I just wanted to get out of the, the he's a nut and can't produce nothing league, right? And, and also, I felt like it might not have happened, because, I mean, I had to, there was so much doubt. Because what is it that Ramana told us? Ramana Maharshi. Doubt is the last thing to go. So if Ramana says that doubt is the last thing to go, is that the same thing as saying doubt is the last thing to go prior to an awakening? See, you're thinking that there's the awakening. And what I want to tell you is that, I mean, that there's your awakening, right? And that that's that and that's a that's going to be yours and it's going to be the awakening and then we're one and done and that's not my experience and I have worked with hundred well a couple of thousand students and by now if not more which is not the biggest teaching in the world but it ain't small sampling either <laughs> and <clears throat> having worked with uh, this many people and having woken many many of them up, most of them, as a matter of fact, the great majority of them, then I'm quite familiar with the perils of post-awakening. And for post-awakening, there is a path. And we call that path clearing. And 80% of what's taught, and my 80% of my time is spent working with people who are clearing. But you can't work with people who are clearing until you work with people who are awakened. And I do get some people who have previously awakened and they come to me in search of greater clarity and I dare say they find it. But the most of the people that come here, they, they've not had an awakening. So I can't clear them until they've had one. And if you, if, if you believe, if you're just sure you've had one, um, and you know all about it and know, and you've got you're just cocksure about everything don't don't call me okay because <laughs> I cannot do a damn thing for you I can't lead you to where you think you already are it's a waste if you are willing to tell willing and able to tell yourself the truth when it's presented to you this may be the teaching for you it may not be but it's worth trying it's worth seeing. Just come to some thought songs. Find out. These thought songs are completely different. I know that I've said this a hundred times, but you keep disbelieving me. Go to Awakening Clarity now and sign up for at least one thought song. Just come to one. And if it doesn't prove to be a, an entirely different thing compared to any other thought song, then uh, you've never been don't come back or assume you might not have heard everything available and do come back but odds are you're going to notice it right away most do and i get awakened people who cannot when the first time they come to satsang like i mean people who were previously awakened by some other means and they come here and they attend that satsang and they can't believe it because it is quite different because we're talking, we get about 40 or so people sometimes, most of the time, sometimes more, sometimes a little less, but never much less. And, um, and, the, and, and the majority of the people there are awakened. And awakened people 
What are they talking about? They're talking about clearing. We are sometimes talking about awakening too. I, I, I woke up again, a wonderful client and friend in Satsang Sunday. The previous Sunday, which I woke up, I brought, simply brought this one back to clarity, and which is, it's awakening them up again. And it just is, that's what it is. And uh, the previous Sunday, I woke up a good friend of mine lives in Seattle and he's been hanging around with us for a long time. And by God, he had a very fine awakening last Sunday. And we talked about it this Sunday. And you would be, you would, it would be a big payoff for you to share in his experience what it's like to wake up, right? From, from just not awake, right? Just in, the, you're in the bubble of self-reflection and to be able to come out of that bubble and see the truth and then, ex and then experience it. And you're, and you're coming to that, uh, you're coming in that awakening in front of 40 people, right? I mean, it's not like, oh, oh, I think, you know, he just tricking them or something. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> so many people think so poorly of me because they're convinced that I'm a con guy, con man or a bad guy or something like that. It's it just, and all I can tell you is that ego will do anything to stay away from awakening. And perhaps the opinions of the, the of the, of your opinions of the messenger, maybe they don't have a damn thing to do with the message. And maybe you could could put your your terrible feelings aside. And because I get emails from people, you know, who watch my videos and then write me one and say, boy, you suck. <laughs> I don't pay him any attention and I don't post them because I'm not gonna host somebody's foolish in my, my, in my opinion, foolish opinion on my website either. They need to, or, or my YouTube channel. They need to get their own channel. And they're welcome to get it. The, uh, and they'll find out that all of this is a lot more difficult than it looks. Yes. So it's, well, let's come back to, let's go back to the beginning, which is that there are, there are thought patterns that keep you from seeing the truth. And then there are additional thought patterns which come up in post-awakening, which keep you from clearing. And if you don't clear, guess what's going to happen? You're not going to stay awake. And, and when I say, and it's just, I'm just using language when I say stay awake. It's not really accurate because you are awakeness and you're, 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 you don't take naps. But, it will, but you can think you do. You can think that you have lost your awakeness can believe it's lost its connection to awakeness. Can you believe that? But it's true. It's, it's, it, it, just, it just makes no sense. Once you see this thing, then you can understand what we mean when we say, God, it's so obvious and it's so, so close. But you can't understand that until you've actually experienced it. And once you have, it's clear as the day is long. I swear to you, it is. And one of the questions that I ask people is I like to ask them, uh, is, um, is there any doubt in your mind, any doubt at all in your mind that what we're going into here, or that what's happening here is anything other than the, than the solid truth? And I will inevitably get no. No, there's no doubt. And that kind of doubt, there's doubt. You know, what what I'm going to say? Doubt's the last thing to go. There's doubt in relativity. There's no doubt in, the, in being the absolute. Well, that was kind of the long one, which is good. I'm going to start doing some long ones again because... That's what I really enjoy, you know. I've, I've done shorter things here and there, trying to manipulate uh, YouTube and all of this, and it's just stupid. 
that's not what this teaching is for. It's not here to manipulate YouTube. It's not here to get the most views. It's not here to get the, um, the most subscribers or any of that. But, you know, even I can get confused about that because it just it, the, the, the story is right there. And I can nibble on it. I'm not going to bite it wholesale and swallow it wholesale, but I can nibble on that. And, um, and obviously I have. But that's over. There were thought patterns that I was believing. When I say I, I mean awakeness. There were thought patterns that awakeness was believing. They were not real. But my experience of them was real, says awakeness. The patterns, all, all you have to do is to simply investigate them, bring them into inquiry. And we'll talk about that perhaps in our, our, our next video, and if not one coming up real soon, I'll go and send myself, a, I'll make myself a note of that. Um, we want to bring these blocking patterns into active inquiry. And if we do that, we will be rid of them. And what will then be here? The same thing that's here now, only it will know it. You will move from a state of unconscious awakeness to a state of being conscious awakeness, not seeing it. Can't see it, really. You can only be it. Okay. Thank you very much. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.